Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Trials and Tribulations, y'all. I ain't ready. What the hell happened? In the last one, we were going to question who we think is Dahlia Hawthorne. She had a cyclock after all. And then what? a whole bunch of crap happened. Someone got murdered. Phoenix fell off a bridge. Things were on fire? Excuse me? Please tell me he's okay. I don't know where we are, and I don't know who this is. But damn, pick up your phone! It's not Phoenix's phone, because it doesn't sound like that, does it? Hello? Oh, oh, yes, Edgeworth speaking. <gasps> Edgeworth, my baby! Edgy, get up, it's an emergency! Uh-huh, Larry? Do you know what time it is? It's not Larry, it's Lori's. Lori's doing him. Oh no, not this. Ugh. This is nothing more than a terrible nightmare. I'll just roll over and- Are we actually going through his dialogue right now? As him? Wait, wait, don't hang up, it's an emergency. It's Nick. He- He took a really nasty spill. Well, it wouldn't be the first time, so... I'm not joking, his life is in danger. What? What happened? Tell me. <gasps> Edgeworth cares. My ship has sailed. Talk about a guy with bad luck, he may already be dead. Anyway, you gotta come back. You're the only one that can help. My Iris, my beautiful Iris, she needs help. Alright, I don't know what's going on, but I'll be there as soon as I can. I'm at the detention center. Please, hurry. What is going on? Is Edgeworth gonna come help? It's been one year since I left that country. I thought I wouldn't have to see him again for a while. Sounds like it won't be a pretty reunion, as if I expected anything to change. Edgeworth? Are you actually going to help? So, wait, uh, uh, okay. I'll just have to wait and see. I have many questions. <laughs> Alright, we're hired at the detention center. Oh my god. You're late, Edgy. What took you so long? I don't want to hear it. I chartered a private jet to come as quickly as I could. Well, you should have chartered a faster one. Anyway, just listen. Something happened to Miss Elise, and, and Nick is. And Maya, and Iris is bikini. Huh? Uh, say something, Edgy. Before I came here, I stopped in at the hospital where Wright is. I believe I have a better understanding of the situation than you, at this point. Is Phoenix okay? Was he able to say what happened? The murder victim was the picture book author, Miss Elise Donham. She was found by Wright and the head nun. The suspect is the temple's younger nun. Well, who saw that coming? Then later, while Wright was crossing the bridge, it broke and he fell into the river. The hospital says he'll need at least two days of bed rest. Oh, that's all, thank goodness. At least he's gonna be okay. I was worried. Yeah, yeah, that's right, you got it. But th they arrested her! My sweet little Iris! Get out of here with that mess, who the hell cares? And here I was convicted and convinced he was the one the police had arrested. However, I still don't understand what these two items are for. What are you talking about? The things Wright gave me when I was leaving his room. This is the first? You said some nonsense about being able to see into people's hearts with this? Will that really work for Edgeworth as well? Will it work for anyone that's holding it? Oh, I didn't know that. For some reason, I thought only Phoenix could use it. And the other? He couldn't possibly be asking what I think he is. Could he? <gasps> Edgeworth! Phoenix has gave you his most prized possession in the world! Do you know how many people's faces I have shoved that thing into? Oh, and we're gonna do it with Edgeworth if we get to. If we get to play him, I swear to God, I am. my whole year is gonna be made. I'm begging you, the Iris' trail starts tomorrow. With Nick out of the picture, you're all I've got left. We are gonna play Edgeworth, who will play a defense attorney. You're the only one that can represent her. I don't want to represent that that crazy girl. What did you just say? No, represent, defend. What were you expecting? Why do you think I called you anyway? I'm a prosecutor, Larry. A prosecutor. Do you understand what I'm saying? A prosecutor is a lawyer who... Don't talk to me like a kid. I graduated from junior high, you know. Don't worry about it. I promise I won't tell. But I... I mean, I heard a paper badge had no problem fooling an entire court before. That did happen. How could this country's judicial system have fallen into such decay? Please, Edgy. At least listen to her. Listen to Iris' side of the story. So Wright wasn't joking when he gave me this badge after all. It, it really was a euphemism, but to be fair. Yeah, hi. Not having it. Thank you for coming. My name is Iris. 
Edgeworth, Miles Edgeworth. Miles, don't you know who she is? Haven't you seen her before? I don't know if I can be of any help, but I will at least hear what you have to say about the murder. Um, Mr. Wright, how is he? Mr. Laurie said that he, that he might even die. This, wow, okay, so I don't like her, obviously, and I'm scared, but this sprite right here, boy, it's hard not to get you. She looks so sweet, doesn't she? Fortunately, he will be fine. Larry, you moron, how could you say something like that? He was badly bruised when he hit the water, but otherwise he's unharmed. Thank goodness for that. I was worried he would freeze in there. Thank goodness. But he's caught some kind of nasty cold. A cold? He's running a high fever and is drifting in and out of consciousness. Oh, yeah. He's probably going to get pneumonia from that. <laughs> I know the feeling. I must be imagining things. This woman? I feel like I've met her before. That's what I thought. Edgeworth, you do know who she is. Oh, my God. This music! What is this? Oh, this is fantastic. And we're playing as Edgeworth? You've got to be kidding me. I, oh, I did not see this in a million years. Can I... Can I do this? Oh, so we do have all the stuff that Phoenix had. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. Look at this badge. Is that an attorney's badge? Yes, this belongs to Wright. Really? I'm actually a prosecutor. Oh, then why do you have a defense attorney's badge pinned on your lapel? Well, you see, I, um, I borrowed it. Oh, please, Edgeworth. God, always good with talking to the ladies, I see. Fine, let's ask her about these things. Pardon me, Iris. I would like to ask you something, if you don't mind. I have the distinct feeling you and I have met before. It, it must be your imagination, Mr. Edgeworth. After all, I hardly ever leave Hazakura Temple. Hazakura Temple? What's that? It's a place where those who wish to boost their spiritual power come to train. You need to undergo some very difficult training to release your inner spiritual power. Spiritual power? Did you go to that temple for that reason as well? No, I don't have any spiritual powers. I don't need them. In that case, what are you doing at that temple then? What are you doing there? I... I've committed some sins. Sins that I need to pay for. That's why I'm there and why I continue to train. To purify my soul. So has she actually, like, become a nun or something? Is that what she's going with? I don't think I believe it. Alright, night of the crime, tell me. I want to ask you about last night, the night of the crime. Alright. I helped to clean up after dinner and then went back to my room around 8 o'clock. Later, I left my room to ring the lights out bell at 10. Bell? We ring it at the same time each night. I see. And then? Uh, and then... What's wrong, dear? I was told to go to the training hall, but... I, I went back to my room and stayed there. Why didn't you go to the training hall like you were asked to? I... I, I was frightened. Frightened? So I just stayed in my room and meditated until the murder happened. Mm-hmm. Well, isn't that convenient? <laughs> Why the heck you lying? There's more to her story, I just know there is. Maybe I should dig a little deeper. Is that a euphemism? No, of course not. You asked to go to the training hall on the night of the murder? Yes. However, you didn't go. Because you say you were frightened. What exactly were you so frightened of? Yeah, why don't you tell us that at least? Uh oh, of course. Here we freaking go. Well, it wasn't as many as before. What in the world? Oh yeah, Edgeworth has never seen this before. <laughs> he probably thinks he's going crazy. Um, is there something wrong? I'm sorry, it's nothing. It looks like she's not aware of them herself. These must be what Wright was talking about. The psycho locks. <laughs> he doesn't say it correctly. That's okay. I believe he said that I need to present this Magatama item to do something. Yeah, but can we do that yet? Something tells me no. It's just too early, isn't it? Well, we've got one other thing. Any idea? So, do you have any ideas as to what really occurred last night? I think it was the result of tremendous spiritual power that was unleashed. Spiritual power? Yes. Spiritual training has been a cause behind many great tragedies. This incident was just another example. Iris, I'm sorry, but I can't accept that. 
I'm a man of science. I don't believe in spiritual power. Yes, I, I understand. Most people don't. And I'm certain that the thing that killed the victim was a human. So please, answer me this simple question. Were you the one who killed Elise Stoneham? No. I'm not the one who took her life. Hmm, that's not psych-locked. But, she could be spinning the words around too. So that it's not technically a lie? Those psycholock things aren't appearing. I suppose that means I can believe that she's not lying. Yeah, but be careful with this one. <laughs> What's wrong? I can't believe what I'm thinking. And here I just finished saying that I don't believe in spiritual power. Hmm. It appears that's about all you can tell me. Thank you very much for listening to my story. I visited right at the hospital before coming here. He asked me to take care of you. Oh no, Phoenix. This must be so difficult for him. Me? Yes, at the trial tomorrow, he asked me to defend you. If Mr. Wright has that much faith in you, Mr. Edgeworth, then I will gladly entrust my fate in your capable hands. But before that, I have one question. Yes? Do you know Wright? Um, why would you ask that? Whenever you came up in our conversation, he would begin to act a little... strange. Oh, Edgeworth, you getting jealous? Don't worry about it, you're his number one. Mr. Edgeworth, are you his friend? Friend? Well, in a sense, yes. <laughs> in a sense that they're banging each other. Wait, what? No, 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 never mind. This is serious. It was five years ago. That's when I... That's when I... Deceived him. So it is her. Is she really trying to repent for her sins? Mmm, I don't think so. A little too convenient. I heard that he was in a lot of pain after what happened. I, I know what a weak person I am. That's why. That's why I thought it was best if he never saw me again. I, I wanted him to just forget about me without learning the truth. Well, if you ask me, Wright's still suffering. And until he learns the truth, I don't think he will ever be able to truly recover. Wait, wait, how did she get out of jail, though? That's the thing I don't understand. I guess we'll maybe understand that later. Aris, it's not too late. You should go to him, tell him the truth. Well, she can't right now. <laughs> don't think so, anyway. Although she somehow got out of jail and went to a temple to repent. Maybe she can. I'll defend you, but only if you agree to the one condition. That's nice of you. Edgeworth is such a good guy. All right, Mr. Edgeworth, I promise. Very well. I'll do everything in my power to get you an acquittal. She better not be lying to me, I swear to God. That's enough information gathering for now. I should head to the crime scene. I can't believe we're playing as it. I can't believe this. The only thing bad about this is that we don't get to see him through all this- Oh my God. What is this music? Oh, this is this is crazy good. Can I present her anything else? Uh, what about profiles where we have? Uh, should we try this? I don't know. Oops, sorry. Bumped my thing. Mr. Wright, how bad is his cold? Well, his fever is very high. As a result, he's rather confused. Oh my god, this music is great! Is this Edgeworth's music? It's so good! He's worried about Maya, who's still trapped in the inner temple. Oh my god, she's gonna freeze to death in there. And he's quite worried about you as well, it seems. Really? Yes. Naturally, once he recovers, I'll pass the baton back to him. No, don't. I I'm sure that Mr. Wright wouldn't want that. He wouldn't want to defend me. I see. What can you tell me about him? I need to know about this. They really have a thing or what? Oh, that's Mr. Loris. I'm sorry? Who did you say it was? Loris Donham. He's Mystic Elise's apprentice, I think. Alright, now who exactly is this guy? He's a very sincere, hard-working person. I see. Um, did I say something wrong, Mr. Edgeworth? Uh, excuse me, I was temporarily at a loss for words. <laughs> Take a trip, come home, be thrust suddenly into Bizarro. <laughs> Bizarro, I'm helping. How about her? That's Mystic Elise Stoneham. She's a picture book author, or so I've heard. Does she come to Hazakura Temple often? No, this was her first time. It's just that... What? She was a very important visitor. Is that so? Yes, Sister Bikini told me be certain not to offend her. 
victim, Mr. Lee Stoneham. Prosecutor's office still doesn't have much information about her, it seems. Fine. You want to tell- I doubt she knows gumshoe, so I'm not going to go there. Do you want to tell me anything about yourself? You want to know about me? There's not much to tell, I'm afraid. Just let me get one thing straight. You were raised at Hasakura Temple, correct? And yet, somehow, you seem to know right. Yeah, how does that work? Suji so must have crossed paths somewhere. Yeah, we certainly did. No, Mr. Edgeworth, whomever it was, it couldn't have been me. But she just... But she just admitted to deceiving him. What? Is the girl lying to me? Okay. You know what? I don't have time to talk to liars. I'm getting out of here. <laughs> That's crazy. She did she just lie to me then outright? Okay, fine. You know what? I'm tired. Oh. Well, yeah. I guess nobody's getting across there. Maybe we could get a zip line going. I gotta go over there and find out how Maya is. Sure, it's cold, all right. So this is it, Tusky Bridge. Who's that? M Mr. Edge is probably gonna shoot. Yeah, how you doing, buddy? How's your face? Man, you need a better jacket out here. It's freezing. Oh, Detective Gumshoe. Yeah, long time no see. It's been about a year, or oh, has it been longer? It doesn't matter, Detective. What doesn't matter is why you're shuffling around up here. Oh, ow! And it was a sharp left jab. Well, I'm happy to see you anyway, Mr. Edgeworth. Let me guess, you were transferred into another section at work. A good choice. The vast amount of nothing up here must be quite easy to guard. I heard you were back in the country and arranged to come all the way out here. Everybody was real nice. Dave let me take charge of the investigation, sir. Gumshoe, indeed. Like gum on your shoe, he's impossible to get rid of. Wow! I thought him and, and Edgeworth were okay together, but I guess, oh, everybody just gives Gumshoe the job, don't they? I'm supposed to report in the details of the crime scene, sir. Anyway, here I am, Detective Dick Gumshoe reporting for duty. Great. Um, thank you, Detective. I thought Prosecutor Gatto was gonna get here before me. Oh, of course he's in this. Man, this is gonna be one hot sausage party in a hot minute. That guy's a real mystery, I tell you. Prosecutor Gatto? Well, we're probably gonna find out about that. But first, let's talk. I just got back into the country, so I don't really know much about the case. It's simple. Well, simple is as simple does, they say. Oh, you got no idea how much I miss that biting sarcasm of yours, sir. But seriously, this one's a piece of cake. There's a witness that saw the whole thing. A witness? Yeah, that bikini lady. How did she see it? Hmm. Bikini lady? Here on this freezing cold mountain? Well, you should talk to her yourself if you want the details, sir. I may have to talk to this bikini lady. I, I mean, decisive witness myself. Don't get excited, Edward. That's not what you think. <laughs> Far from. So, this is the bridge that Wright fell through? Yep. I can't imagine being that reckless myself. Look before you cross. Is how it goes, right? Or was it leap? And? Is there something on the other side? Yeah, some old building they call the Inner Temple. But we can't get over there without a bridge, sir. What? Nobody lives there, so it's usually not a problem. But someone was at the Inner Temple doing some training and now they're stuck there. Yes, I heard that from right. It's Maya Fey. Oh no, her again? Anyway, the air is really turbulent right now, so we can't do an aerial extraction. No one's gonna be able to reach the Inner Temple until tomorrow, sir. What? That's ridiculous. Get a helicopter up in there. You can do it. This turbulence, my ass. How convenient. Will she be alright in this cold? No, she's probably gonna be a popsicle by the time we get there. So how did this bridge burn down anyway? That's the other thing we have to find out. We're almost 100% sure it was lightning. Mm hmm Lightning? Alright, well, let's talk about the lightning first since it's in order. You're telling me the bridge caught on fire due to a fluke bolt of lightning? Yep. Last night it snowed for the first time in three days. It's a little unusual for lightning to occur during a snowfall like that. I'd say it's very unusual. But according to the weather data, lightning definitely struck. Oh no. I'm already thinking. My mind, the cogs are already turning. Please tell me it has nothing to do with Ami's sword. Which is literally like what conducts thunder in the, in the mystic stories of that sword. Oh for fuck's sake. Okay, we got the weather data. I'll look at that in a minute. I see, this is a very detailed weather report. Almost too detailed. It even has the exact time that the lightning struck the bridge. Now how would they know that? There's no way. Oh that? We got the information from the witness's testimony. Someone actually saw the lightning hit the bridge. Who is this witness? Who is it? 
Sorry, I'll go ask one of the local cops later, sir. Great. Uh, let's look at that real quick and just see what it says. All right. Eagle Mountain weather data for February 7th. Snow with occasional lightning strikes. Snow 7 to approximately 10.50 p.m. Lightning 10 to 11. Lightning struck Dusky Bridge at 10.45. Run 30 minutes past between the fire starting and going out. All right. Hmm. All right, talk to me about Gatto. <gasps> Wait, look, oh my God, I didn't even realize. Look at the bottom. Edgeware silhouettes are there. This is so cool. I'm freaking out. I'm, I'm really freaking out a little bit that I get to be the man I love so much. Yeah, he's a new guy. Showed up after you left the country. Has he not met him before? I guess he hasn't if he's been gone. He's a complete rookie, but no one can say a bad word about the guy. What kind of a man is he? He just became a prosecutor recently, but he's good, sir. Real good. If he's so good, how is it that I've never heard of him? Is he the lead prosecutor on the case? You bet he is. After all, you know who was right in the middle of it. You know who? The Phoenix Wright, of course. For some reason, Gata was really got it in for Mr. Wright. Oh? Yeah, he seems to have some kind of a grudge. And what would be the cause of this grudge? I don't know. Maybe he made fun of his mask or something. None of this is making any sense. I better look into this Gato myself. Oh, that's gonna be interesting. Uh, a couple people said, if you want, present some profiles to Gumshoe uh, if you need information on them. And he'll have information for you. Uh, so let me let me try a couple things and just see for fun Whenever something happens this guy always shows up like he hasn't got a care In fact, you know what every time he shows up. I always wonder the same thing Maybe somehow he's actually the cause of all these incidents. Maybe it's you. You're also there I Wonder if gumshoes realized it yet But you could say the exact same thing about oh my god, you know I used to be Phoenix and now look I'm turning into Edgeworth. Isn't that fantastic? He's supposed to be Mr. Lee Stoneham's apprentice or something. I see. Yeah, he drew a nice portrait of me. That's nice. But he made me pay him 50 cents for it. I'm sorry about that. That what? This is weird. You don't seem very interested in him, Mr. Edgeworth. I really don't want to talk about him, that's why. Well, you're the one that presented it, to be honest. There's a lot we don't know about this victim. We don't know her real name, her background, we don't know anything, really. So at least Donham was a pen name, of course. That's rather odd. If she was trying to hide her identity, why would she become an author? I bet it was just one of those things, you know. She probably never expected to get so popular. Hmm, is that gonna come into play later? It might. How about her? I feel like I've seen this girl somewhere before. She wasn't from a prior case, was she? Uh, yes she was. No, can't be. We did a database search with her fingerprints and came up with no- Wait, how? Wait, really? Oh, what did she do? Burn her fingertips off. People do that. I see. I just can't shake the nagging feeling. You're right, Edgeworth. Well, everyone knows that you're quite popular with the ladies, sir. And some men, I might add. I've seen the dojins. Maybe she's an old girlfriend that you sent to Dumpsville when you were younger. Detective, where did you hear such nonsense from? I didn't hear it from anyone. It's just sort of how I imagine you to be, sir. Do I really inspire this sort of frothing desire from the female masses? Um. What do you do for me? I don't know if I'm the female masses. I'm definitely a mass. Does that count? All right, tell me about him. <laughs> I usually hear about promising young prosecutor candidates while they're still in school, but I've never seen or heard of this person. I gotta admit, he's puzzling all right. He just appeared one day, big mug of steaming coffee in his hand. Hmm, he sounds like an interesting man. Yeah, the whole prosecutor's office is really into double espresso macchiatos lately. Who isn't? All right, I'm not gonna, should I ask him about himself? No, you know what, fuck it, <laughs> I don't care. All right, let's go, uh, let's move and see where we can go. Uh, and then I'll probably, should I examine now? I'll probably come back to, to do the examining soon. Examinating, I've just made up a new word. There it is, examinating. All right, who's here? Oh no. No, Larry, no, I, no, no, I, I didn't want to talk to you, actually. <laughs> Edgy, what took you so long? <laughs> I'm so cold, my brain's turned to sherbet. Well, get a jacket, then. I knew it was a mistake to race back to this country. What do you mean? Right is going to be fine, and the case itself isn't anything unusual. And I find myself taking a request to defend a woman accused of murder. Hey, wait a sec. Hold it. Objection. What's going on here, Mr. Edgeworth? Uh... It's hard to explain, but one thing led to another, and... What kind of 
lame excuse is that? You call yourself a defense attorney? Prosecutor Edgeworth is a prosecutor, and that's why he's a prosecutor Edgeworth. Prosecutor Edgeworth, defense attorney just sounds plain old weird, pal. Right, Prosecutor Edgeworth? I I'm not sure what role I'm supposed to be playing anymore. <laughs> I know, but I can't say it here because there's kid watching. To dude, Edgy, I don't see you for a couple of years, and your heart turns to sherbet. I say more like sorbet, it's rather cold here. Iris didn't murder her, someone else did it. I just know it, okay? So trust me on this one. Ever the romantic, aren't you, Larry? Nevertheless, I'll do whatever I can to prove her innocence. At least until I pass the baton on to right, that is. So he's just waiting right to get out of the damn hospital. And then move on to better things, which don't involve this. Alright, talk to me about Iris. Man, I'm telling you, Iris is so cute! Right, Izzy? You think so too, don't you? Edgeworth? What's wrong? Why are you so quiet? To put it simply, your comment has me highly concerned. Could it be that the reason you think she's innocent... Come on, a girl that cute can't possibly be murdered. Mm hmm Edgeworth is already so ahead of the game, thank god. I was right after all, I never should have come back. No, 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 don't worry. I, I see things for how they really are this time. Honest! If I had a penny for every time he said that. It's just that, well, Iris is a delicate flower. You can't force things too much, you know what I mean? Um, pardon me? What's that in reference to? You know what, I don't want to know. Huh? I have no idea what you're talking about, Larry. Oh. Ah, uh, forget it. I didn't say anything. Ew. Oh, it's creepy. Edward, don't be like him. Larry, where were you and what were you doing on the night of the crime? Yeah, what about that? Larry? What? Don't tell me! You think I might have done it! What? Get lost! Go back on your charter jet and get out of my sight, you creep! And I hope your plane crashes and you die! Wow! Jeez! What's he hiding? I'll ask just one more time. On the night of the murder, where were you and what were you doing? Oh no, Larry. What were you even up to? Oh, damn it! As I suspected, a psycho lock! Is he ever gonna say that right during this whole time? <laughs> Sorry, man, you know me, I just don't remember. My short term memory is a wreck, dude, same. But mine really is. Alright, something's telling me that I don't have anything I need yet, because we only just started. So let's go ahead and move and just see all the things there are to see, and then we'll see where we can go from there. Hello, who's in here? All right. Oh, there's something, I see something different in here already. Is that paper over there in the, in like the middle left? Hello? Oh, darling, how are you? Hello. Hey, hello, dear. Uh, so how are you feeling? All right, I suppose. Uh oh, who's this? I, my name is Miles Edgeworth. My, my, my. Handsome boy such as himself is always welcome. Get off him, Granny, he's mine. Oh, if circumstances wasn't so tragic, I might just... Please don't call me boy. I'm sorry to trouble you, but I'm looking for a woman in a bikini. Well, you found her now. What can I do for you? Oh. Oh, Edgeworth. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but I don't see any bikinis. <laughs> if you ask nicely, I might give you a peek, big boy. Oh. Well, gotta hand it to her for being confident. No, thank you. <laughs> um, Mr. Edgeworth. Oh my god, look at her face jiggle. This is the head nun, Sister Bikini. She's the witness. Why did you tell me that earlier? This is exactly why your salary keeps getting cut. Ugh, my stomach is already growling in protest. So, um, what's the latest about my beloved Iris? Well, first, I want to hear what you know. Yeah, talk to me about this. Tell me everything. The night of the crime. First, I'd like to ask about last night. Well, last night, we had an acolyte here for training. After dinner, the two of us went to the training holy in a temple. She must be talking about Maya. Approximately what time was that? I suppose it was around 9 o'clock when we left here. Training lasts all night long. It's extremely exhausting. The channeling dojo's head nun must be in attendance at all times to keep watch. Wow, you're right. That does sound exhausting. Detective, this is no time for flattery. Sorry. Sometime around 11, you witnessed the incident in the courtyard. But your duty was in the inner temple. Why did you come back here? Hmm. The way you're staring at me, I'm starting to get goosebumps. Ha <laughs> ha Ugh. I'm starting to get goosebumps myself. Why does every old lady like Edgeworth? Oh no. It's so unfortunate. <laughs> you get the chills pretty easy, don't you, Mr. Edgeworth? Oh 
God. Tell me what you saw. All right, then I'd like you to tell me exactly what you saw in the courtyard. It must have been past 11. Oh, no! I can't say it. It's too much for my poor heart. Hey, calm down, lady. Let go of my tie. Uh oh. I saw two people. One of them was lying on the ground. Look at this. That's a terrible image. The other one was stabbing her from the back. With a sword. Did you see this criminal? With your own eyes? I didn't want to believe what I was seeing. But it was Iris. Mm-hmm. And no one was surprised. Must have been quite shocked. Of course she was. Try putting yourself in her shoes. Be like if you were stabbing Mr. Wright smack in the middle of the courtroom. Oh. Well, there's dojin about that. I read it. And I happened to witness it from the witness stand. I'd be pretty shocked, too. You were in the dojin as well, Gumshoe. You saw everything. Oh. Never mind. I know that sounds insane, but that's what I saw. And when I finally realized what I was seeing, I screamed, and, and then I passed out. Unfortunately for us, her testimony seems to be pretty solid. However, the idea of Iris doing such a foul act seems unnatural. Unnatural. The girl I know simply isn't capable of this sort of foul- Are they gonna go- Please tell me they are not gonna spin this like, Oh my god, she was possessed. That better not be what it is. I wonder what she means by that. Why did you return then? As the head nun, is your duty to stay with the acolyte at all times, correct? Yes, that's correct. I know I may look strong, but the truth is I've got a bad lower back. A bad lower back? Yes, it's especially bad in the winter. So bad I can't even lift a bucket. Do you remember how cold it was last night? My bad back felt as stiff as frozen glass. I just wanted to take a nice hot bath to ease my aching back. That's why I returned to the main hall. So you left the disciple all alone? Don't be ridiculous, I would never do that. That's why I ordered Iris to go to the inner temple after she had rung the bell for lights out. Yes, but she never went to the inner temple, did she? Did this head not even see Iris? I think I'd better try to get some more details. Alright. So who is this accolade that was to train at the inner temple? Her name is Maya Faye. I treated her very badly, I'm ashamed to say. And after she went through the trouble of signing up for the special course. Special course? It's a training session where you sit on a block of spirit ice and chant 30,000 times. You don't mean to tell me she's still doing that over the Dina Temple, do you? No, 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 of course not. You don't have to worry about that one little bit. Last night, we still hadn't started the training session itself. Well, um, that's good to hear. Oh, dear, dear. There's one thing I forgot to tell you. What? Where's Pearls and all this? Is she alright? Is she stuck with Maya? Uh-oh, I don't think I like the sound of this. Do you know that small- Oh, here it is. I believe she's Mystic Maya's little sister. Maya has a little sister? Oh, you mean Little Pearl. That's Maya Faye's cousin. Little Pearl? Has Edgeworth never met her before? Surely he has. I thought she was going to visit Mystic Elise after cleaning up dinner, but I haven't seen her at all since late last night. She's nowhere to be found. You mean she- She was with the victim? It's all the fault of my stupid, creaky old back. A little girl who was with the victim on the night of the murder is gone. Yeah, this is bad. As they say, the plot thickens. Well, we're going to have to find about uh, the thickening plot in the next one. I hope Pearl's okay. Oh my god, look at that silhouette of Edgeworth. It's so great. I can't believe that we get to play as him. This is crazy. I never would have thought this would happen in a million years. Oh, I'm so excited. I hope you guys are too for the next one. I'll see you then. Thanks for watching. Bye.